What is a vloggy vlog? I haven't done a Q&A in a while and usually I do it on Instagram and I'm able to answer only a couple of questions. So this time I asked you guys to ask me some questions on IG and we're gonna do a longer Q&A slash casual hanging out make dinner with me together. So for dinner I'm making salmon teriyaki balls. So I'm going to start on that and I will be answering some questions as we go. Number one ask question every time on Q&A is my workout and diet plan and to be completely honest with you guys every day is so different that it's difficult to just tell you in general what I eat and what I do for the workouts. When it comes to the workouts I found a balance between cardio days and Pilates days. I do Pilates three to four times a week. Then I do high intensity training twice or three times a week. And I do walks. I also try to have at least one day of running in a week. I used to do more than that, but now I'm kind of loving walking more than running. I take my dog for a really long walk almost every single day and it's just such an easy and nice way to get outside, get some fresh air and get some cardio in. Also, I used to really hate biking until we got electric bikes and now with the assist, I can go pretty far and it's also a very nice way to get outside and get some movement in. If you live in, a, in an area that you can bike around, I highly recommend because I used to hate the regular bike, but electric bikes are just completely next level. And when it comes to my diet, I eat pretty healthy. I don't eat meat and I can do like a general what I eat in a day without giving any calories and actual measurements because I completely disagree with that. Everybody is so different. So I don't want anybody to base their diet choices of what I eat in a day, but I can give you like a general idea. So if you're interested, let me know in the comments down below and I can do like a full day of eating or maybe do one every couple of weeks just because every day is just so different. Also, don't forget to wash your rice. How tall are you? I'm five, six and a half. And this half means a lot to me. So I always like to add that. When are you coming to Poland? We usually try to go to Poland or at least me twice a year. Um, it's been kind of difficult lately because our schedule was kind of very busy, but I go at least once a year and a lot of you are wondering if randy has been to poland he's been multiple times we try to spend christmas in poland every year because it's just the absolute best and we also try to go during summer when we already hit different european countries when we're in the process of getting my paperwork and my green card i could not travel abroad and not being able to visit my family and poland for such a long time was actually very depressing and sad so i definitely try to go as much as possible but I do not see myself living in Poland again. I think my mentality is just completely different and I do think in English, I dream in English. In my head, if I was moving back to Poland, it's like I'm taking step backwards because I've worked so, so hard to get out of there. And to give you a little backstory, I always knew I don't see myself living in Poland forever. This is so hard to be cooking and doing this at the same time. So just to give you guys a little backstory, when I was choosing my high school, I chose the international diploma just because I knew I wanted to be somewhere abroad. A lot of my classmates went to schools in England or in Scotland, but I took a little gap year after my high school and then decided or I found the au pair program, which not a lot of people knew about at the time. The au pair program is an exchange program where you come to a different country and you live with a family and take care of the kids in exchange for your year stay. When I was searching for families in the au pair program, I was absolutely dead set of coming to California. So I took my sweet time, I think nine months, to find a match and find a family that's going to be based here. I would never in a million years imagine that I would end up living in United States forever. That was never my plan. I was just supposed to be here for a year, but I had met this random guy that you guys know, and 
I stayed and never left. So no, it was never my intention to stay here forever, even though I had big dreams of, of visiting United States. And one of the questions was, what is the Pulse mindset about United States and how I feel living here? And to be completely honest, to me, living in Poland, coming to United States was something completely unachievable. It was like a big dream that I thought was going to only be a dream. I didn't have any money. I grew up very, very poor. So booking a ticket just to come here was never an option. So I had to kind of find a different way to be able to fulfill that dream. And that's how I found the Au Pair program. If not the Au Pair program, I don't know if I would be ever able to visit United States. So it's pretty cool that I dreamt so big, bigger than myself, and I somehow made that work. So I think for a lot of Polish people, especially people that are on the poorer side, United States is like this beautiful land of dreams and you know the saying the American dream, like that's literally what it is. It's just very difficult for us to get here, especially before with all the visas. Now there is no visa, so it's a little bit easier to visit, but still the cost is just so expensive if you have to book flights and hotels and stuff for a lot of polish people it's just not an option and when it comes to general idea about american people and an america in poland i can't speak for everyone everybody has a different opinion of course there's a lot of stereotypes with americans being maybe a little fake or being super friendly like everybody just thinks different things so i'm not going to be getting into that I am, however, extremely grateful that I am able to be in this country and I'm able to do what I do. I would not change it for a thing. After I moved to United States, I found out I got into medical school. So if I somehow went through medical school and passed and became a doctor, that would be my future in Poland now. But thank God it didn't happen because to be completely honest, I would be absolutely terrible doctor. I'm way too sensitive. I take things to myself and if I had some patients being sick or dying, I would probably be crying and having a mental breakdown every single day. I do not have personality for that. So thank God I'm here just making light-hearted videos and doing what I actually enjoy doing. I feel like I talked about this next one so many times that some of you will get annoyed that I still talk about it, but Lots of questions about how me and Randy met and I did a lot of videos about it. There's actually a reel on my Instagram and there is a YouTube video on our second YouTube channel about it. But basically we met at the street at the party. I was an au pair, Randy was a marine. My au pair program was coming to an end so I was supposed to go back home. We liked each other very much, decided to get married after two months of knowing each other. And long story short, we're here nine years later, happily married, building our beautiful life together. So that's our story. What is, what's your favorite perfume? And I can't remember the name of it, Creed, and it's like a flower something. We've been using Tom Ford perfumes for literally years. We have like 15 of them and I'm so sick and tired of that don't ever do that don't ever buy just a lot of perfumes just because there's a special deal going because that's what happened to us we're on our way to Maldives three or four years ago and we had a layover in Qatar and they had this amazing deal going when you bought three perfumes you got two free or something like that so we just bought a ridiculous amount of Tom Ford perfumes and now we're so sick and tired of it and we can't finish it so we can't justify buying new perfume and it's not cool because i'm sick and tired of smelling the same for the past four years do i get professional facials i try i know a lot of you guys ask me for my skincare routine and honestly randy i need help and honestly my skincare routine is like can you unscrew this? Oh 
is like non-existent. I almost have like a boy skincare routine, like whatever Randy does, like put soap and a little bit of water on his face, like that's what I do. My friend owns a med spa and she is putting me slowly onto some things to start caring a little more. At the end I'm 30, so I should start caring. I should start caring about my skincare a little more, so we are doing like a little moisturizer and face wash. We, <laughs> we, me and my friend. And whenever I go, I try to do the facials. I need to get better that we just travel so much that it's hard to keep up like a routine with the facials. Would I ever move back to Europe? Absolutely. Not right now, because I don't think we're in a space where we would, but I am a European citizen and the perks of being a European citizen, I'm pretty sure is that I can own a property anywhere in European Union. And I just watched those videos of people buying properties in Sicily for like 20 bucks. Okay, maybe not 20 bucks, but like, you know, 60K, like 60K in United States will buy you a box. So when I see those videos, I'm literally telling Randy, Pack your bags, we're moving to Sicily. It's just all talk, it never happens. But we are definitely discussing an option of saving up some money, maybe buying a property in Europe. I don't know. I don't see myself living in United States forever. I'm very European at heart and I miss Europe. And every time we go each summer, I just feel home regardless of the country I am in Europe. I'm just way closer culturally to European culture than American culture. So it's definitely something on our minds. Also, raising children in America is a little sketch with everything going on in schools. So by the time kids come, we definitely need to figure out some good option for our kids' education and our mental sake of raising our kids in a safe place. By the way, do you see how messy of a cook I am? Like what is even going on in here? Talking and cooking at the same time is not easy. I didn't even organize the questions, so I'm just jumping back and forth like all around. Meanwhile, I probably should just organize them better. But the question is, tell us about your process of becoming a US citizen. Did Randy sponsor you? Well, let me tell you, the process of becoming a citizen is a lengthy one. So, first, after we got married, I got my first green card that I believe was for two years. And to achieve, to receive this green card, it took, it took a very long time of filing a lot of paperwork that Randy filled out for me. He's such an angel. We didn't have a lawyer. He did like 300 papers that he filled himself spot on, like it passed immediately, but it took a really long time to get the interview, the fingerprints and all of that. That process was, was very long and as I mentioned at the beginning, very miserable because I was not able to leave the country for that amount of time. And then after the two years, I applied for my second green card, that's a 10 year green card and I got that and after Three years total of our marriage, not three years, five years? Five years, I believe, of our marriage total, I was able to apply for my citizenship. And that surprisingly came very quick. I applied a week after I had my test and interview scheduled and I had my citizenship immediately. So that process was extremely fast, which was shocking. And now I'm a dual citizen, which is amazing until it comes to paying taxes. It's not amazing because I have to pay taxes in America regardless of where I live, I believe. So that's not cool. But being a dual citizen has its perks. I'm gonna throw this salmon on the pan and be right back to chop. Oh, my salmon is frying up a little bit on the pan. So let's see what we have next. You guys are asking a lot about my workouts and stuff. So if you want me to do some workout videos, please also let me know in the comments below and also let me know in general what you would like to see more of. I love just doing content and talking to you guys and sharing my life. So I would be more than happy to record whatever you guys want me to record. Maybe not everything, but like workouts, diet, daily life and stuff like that.
How long have you been in United States? I've been here for 10 years, but honestly, it feels like two. Time flies so fast, it's just shocking to me. I just feel like I was in high school yesterday and I'm 30. In my head, I'm still like 18, so I don't know where the time went. Have you experienced discrimination due to your nationality, like a Slavic gold digger stereotype? Funny thing, when me and Randy got married, all his um, marine friends in the military were joking that I'm a mailed ordered bride. So that was the only time I definitely experienced that. But other than that, not really. Other than the fact that most American people, when they see me or hear me, they ask me if I'm Russian, like if there is no other countries but Russia. Um, but I feel like in general, everybody's really nice. They either assume that I'm Russian or they ask me, Hey, like, where are you from? You have an accent. And then we get into a little conversation. I did a TikTok about it, but being a foreigner in United States is pretty nice because people really want to talk to you and they ask questions, where are you from and stuff like that. So it's easy to have little conversations with people here and there. Look how gorgeous. Is. What is the biggest challenge of being in a relationship with an American? The biggest challenges of being in a relationship with American, I think I am so European at heart that I constantly want to prove that Europe is better in a way, but not like in an aggressive fighting way. I just, not even intentionally, but I compare Europe to United States a lot. Randy is a very reasonable man. He is actually extremely intelligent and smart. He has a huge knowledge about everything. And the nice thing about him that he's usually very unbiased. So he's able to look at things from different perspectives. So he just most of the time lets me do the talking and he doesn't like tell me no or like he does not claim America is the greatest. He's able to see the strengths and the weaknesses of each country. So he's just a little more reasonable than I am. I'm trying really to think hard, but I don't think other than like language barrier, like of course I speak English, but sometimes I may come off harsh or rude just because us Polish people are a little bit more direct than American people and sometimes he thinks I'm mean even though I really didn't mean to be mean. I think it would be completely different if we're from like two completely different cultures, which I think European and American culture is completely different, but it's not as far off as some other cultures would be. I burnt my salmon. That's why we don't talk and cook at the same damn time. Learned my lesson. When did I start my own business? Well, I've been self-employed since 2017 or 18, working in social media space. But if you are asking about the activewear business, we launched that in September last year. but we were working on it for like a year and a half prior to that. It just takes a lot of time to go through samples, find the material, find the fits, everything is designed and made by us. None of it was ready purchased and just slap the label on it. So the development process is taking a very long time, obviously setting up the website, setting up the business and all of that. So that's been since September and it's been a lot of work. If you own your own business, especially the business that owns inventory, it's very challenging and it is hard. How do I keep healthy lifestyle choices? This is a difficult question just because it's fairly easy for me. I grew up being extremely active and eating very healthy. My mom installed the healthy eating in me since I was little, so we've always ate very healthy at home. And I was always an extremely active kid. I was running, I was playing basketball, I was doing dance. Um, I even beat the city record in running when I was 
13 or 12 and I get got multiple coaches trying to recruit me uh, to sports school and then put me in some competitions and stuff but instead I was such a nerd that I chose the international diploma program and I wanted to just study instead of doing sports and my mom borderline has ADHD she constantly is on the move she's constantly moving and I think I got that from her too like I constantly need to be doing something i hate sitting i hate sleeping i hate staying in bed for longer than after i wake up like after i wake up i jump out of bed and i'm ready to go and take on the day all those things come very easy for me so it's difficult for me of how you could make those changes but i think it starts small i think you can start with walking you don't have to put so much pressure on you that you have to sweat ridiculously every time you work out i think long walks are just such an easy and amazing way to get some activity in your daily life and getting 10k steps a day is really not that hard so if you have to make little changes i would start with that start walking it's not strenuous it's not hard you can do it on a treadmill and work at the same time that's sometimes what i like to do or just go outside for a longer walk it's so nice to be outside we're in front of the computers and phones all day long every day at work and at home so it's just nice to get some fresh air and get outside how did i know that randy was the one well i didn't really because we knew each other only two months when we decided to get married but after I met him and for the two months that we were hanging out and becoming friends, I realized this is the first time that I feel like I can be 100% myself with this person and this person is going to support me regardless. He was always there for me when I had a bad day, a good day. He would drive an hour and a half to see me for five minutes and then come back. He was always trying and just in general, he, Randy has a heart of gold and every person who is friends with him is really lucky to have him in his life because he is he's just so helpful. He's always there for people and he loves animals as much as I do. There's just so many things about him that were so amazing. I just felt so safe and so heard and seen that we gave it a shot and thank god we did because here we are nine years later and it was a, the best decision but don't do that i do not recommend getting married after two months of knowing somebody because in most cases it probably will not work out to be completely honest we just took a chance and somehow we made it work my favorite mascara i don't have one at the time because i have lash extensions but i am trying to quit you guys and i think this is the last time i got a fill so i will update you on my favorite mascara after i start trying out some new mascaras i've had lash extensions for probably 10 years so this whole removing my lashes is very terrifying to me, but it's not trendy, it's not cool anymore. Now everything is about this clean girl eye aesthetic. I also think that it makes my eyes look smaller, so I would be actually excited to see how I look without them, but I'm also terrified at the same time. Do you plan on having kids? Absolutely, we would prefer to have, we would like to have two kids. We're actually thinking about starting this year we just got a lot of opportunities for work coming now so it's just not the right timing but maybe at the end of the year or if not definitely next year that's going to be on our horizon do i have a college degree i do have two associates from community college look at my burnt salmon again don't talk and cook at the same time it's not working out I have two associates, one in kinesiology because I was a personal trainer and a nutrition specialist. So I have kinesiology degree and a business degree from community college. And then I transferred to USC and I went there for one semester to study business administration. And after one semester, I decided this place is not for me. Even though I got a full ride to USC, I decided to quit 
the camera has died but as I was saying got a full ride and after one semester I decided to drop out to pursue my hopes and dreams which somehow has worked out for me not somehow with a lot of hard work sweat and tears but I do not regret the decision actually never mind <laughs> I do regret the decision just because in my Polish mindset, if you don't have a degree, you're basically a nobody and that's how we're raised. So the fact that I don't have a degree as the only person from like all my friends is a problem to me. And in my head, even though I know I'm doing what I love and I'm extremely happy with what I do, in my head, I feel like I still need a degree to kind of fulfill myself and prove that I'm a smart person. Recently, I've been having some ideas of going back to school. Do I have time for that? Absolutely not. But would I feel happier having a degree? Probably. So I might be going back to school sometime in the future when I have a little bit more time. I don't know when I will have more time because when you have kids, you have zero time also. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this dinner. It's getting a little dark and I hope you guys enjoyed this q a and learned a little bit about me if you have more questions or suggestions please put them down in the comments <laughs> down below and i will get to them immediately love you guys